So to start off with this look, I wanted to create kind of a neutral eye because I wanted this cyborg to be more humanoid than any ones I've done before. So to keep with that, I just went ahead and did kind of a neutral smoky eye, though I kept most of the smoke to the outer corners. I just started with a neutral, almost skin tone color for me, and then moved into deeper and darker browns towards the outer corner, and then just blended it all out with a fluffy brush. I did also apply a little bit of a gold tone just with my finger to try and get it packed on there and give a little bit of shimmer. And then I went ahead and did a pretty big wing liner. I did know by the end I wanted the lips and eyes to just be striking on their own. So a strong graphic liner and pair it with a black lip at the end, I figured would look best. For this look, I had sketched out a lot of the more cyborg lines ahead of time, but to sketch them in to make sure I could get them straight and even, I was just using a brown eyeshadow on a detail brush. I originally tried this with a neutral pencil, but it was a little too close to my skin tone to work. But if you do have almost a softer brown or something just darker than your skin tone, that would work as well. Just something light enough that if you make a mistake, you can kind of brush it away and remove it pretty easily before committing to the black lines. But once I had them all in, I did go ahead and take my Aqua Black from Mayron. And again, using a very fine detail brush, went over all the lines I had sketched out and tried to make them as smooth or crisp as possible. And I did find when I connected them on corner positions, I tried to just make them a little bit rounder to kind of add a little bit more depth and a little bit more of that futuristic feel to the lines, but you don't have to do that. I was just having fun doing that with different angles since I thought it added a little bit more fun to it. Because it's a little bit more of a subtle cyborg, you could just go ahead and have just the lines, but I did want to have like two little sections where you maybe would be seeing the inner workings of the robots. And so for that, I did the two sections in the center, and I honestly was just creating different shapes that I've used before in past cyborg looks, like Terminator looks and things like that. So honestly, a mix of things that look like wires, maybe plates or circuit boards or just circles and knobs. Honestly, it tends to all look fine once you have a bunch going on. It doesn't even really have to make sense. If you want to be very specific, you could look up references. But I find usually just doing a good mix of things and then shading them in with a bit of black and gray eyeshadow tends to look pretty convincing and makes it look complex enough to reflect well. I did originally start with a little bit of a gray aqua color, but then realized that it wasn't really standing out enough and moved right into doing the black for the outlines, especially since I knew I wanted to add some UV elements to this. You can kind of just jump right into the black and skip the whole gray part that I did. You only need gray and black eyeshadow for a bit more of the shading and tones. To help some of the wires stand out a little bit more and also add a glow that would activate under black light, I did just use my Suva Beauty Hydro Liners. They have a UV line and so I used the green and yellow. You could use the pink and orange as well. Those are the other two colors that stand out really well, but I just kind of liked the feel that I got with the yellow and green, especially since I knew I'd be rocking a blue wig. So it all just kind of went together. I also just made a few notches along the paint and filled them in with black. This is a really easy detail to basically add anywhere you want on like a cyborg design. And then when I had them in, I also just put a few little dots in there with UV colors. So again, they would just glow and stand out under black light. One subtle detail I did that is probably pretty optional because it's not super noticeable, but I just enjoyed it was to add a little bit of shading along all of the lines with a skin tone shadow. Well, one slightly darker than my skin tone, so hopefully it would stand out a bit. But this just created like a little bit more definition around the lines. I originally, my idea was for it to add depth. I don't know if it did that, but it still looked kind of cool and I enjoyed it. For the wig in this look, I chopped up an old blue wig I had that was just, you know, getting no love. And I kind of love this hairstyle, even though it is very different from what I would usually put on. But you can do obviously whatever you want. And then I did just add a black lip. This is NYX's Liquid Suede in Alien. I had also thrown on some lashes. I just tend not to always film that because it's kind of boring. But they are Kiss Lashes in Gala. And then one final detail that I thought was just a lot of fun was taking a UV white paint. This one is from Chameleon Body Art. I did also get a fun little visit from Alice as she tries to catch her tail because that is her favorite pastime. And then I kept lining with the white. I was doing this on top of the lines that I could find, not on both sides. And the fun part about this is that in normal light, you'll still see a bit of a white highlight. And then in UV, it will stand out a lot more. So multi-purpose highlighting really. And then that was the final detail to my cybernetic look. A little bit more of a simple cyborg, but one I wanted to add to my collection of ever-growing cyborg makeups. 
I also showed it in a few different lights on stream, which is always kind of fun because webcams can't pick up purple. I hope you guys like this look, no matter which lighting it's in. As always, please feel free to ask any questions or leave any comments you have down below. I will be happy to get back to them. I will list everything I use in the description. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I, of course, will see you next video. So until then, bye guys.